Peace Tribe, what's going on? It's your girl Sage Monroe. I'm Hope. And uh, we are Black expats living in Costa Rica for those who may have been following either one of our journeys on our channel. And we just like to have like-minded, conscious conversation. Me yeah. and Hope are always chatting it up and I'm like, we need to be recording this. <laughs> um, so today we're just, you know, chilling in the jungle and we want to just, you know, do that same thing, but with y'all. Right. And yeah, we're just two women, black expats living in Costa Rica, sharing our journey. And we just aligned on the same timeline with each other. And so, yeah, we're mm. sharing a little collab. Yeah. Collab with y'all. We should talk about how we met. <laughs> how, okay, we, we met on Instagram. Oh, Instagram. We on Instagram. I met Hope on Instagram. I was still living in Atlanta, but I knew that like I wanted to like move to Costa Rica and I don't know. Oh, I think I had just got connected. It was just one of those vine things. I went Ooh. down the vine. I kind of went down a rabbit hole of this person that knew this person. And I ended up finding your account. And just like I wanted to reach out to you. Number one, the energy was giving everything that I needed to get. Oh, I love you. It needed to get. And then, you know, like Hope was living here at the time. You were living yeah. here at the time. And I was just like, how do I do this? How do I do that? Like she was my travel advisor. <laughs> <laughs> But she was so sweet. She answered all my questions and stuff like that. But I knew, like, when I came, I'm like, this is going to be one of my homegirls. Like, I just knew that it. That was definitely the energy already on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And I also went through your Instagram, and I'm like, okay, the energy is given. Mm -hmm. She's a conscious baddie, mm -hmm. you know, and she's following her soul's purpose. I'm all down, mm -hmm. always down for that and always down with aligning with people who are doing the same and supporting in any way that I can because mm. there's no gatekeeping over here. Like, None. you know. We gonna spill all the tea, you know, it is it. what it is. But yeah, so I get here to Costa Rica, hope I go to Atlanta. I went to Atlanta, where like, like, she was from, right? We just swapped. <laughs> I was like, you were my only friend. But um, yeah, no, now she's back, obviously. And um, y'all can hear more about that and more about both of our personal journeys on previous right. videos that right. we've talked about and things like that but man we've been side by side ever since y'all literally, literally <laughs> side by side y'all we side by side like it aligned just so perfect like I can't even make it up like, oh my gosh oh yeah, I see this face every day literally <laughs> literally can I come over there I'll be whatever I'm terrorized by my apartment oh my god I'm and running same over. I see some. I'm like Sage can you come help bring your room <laughs> bring your room <laughs> Oh my gosh, but yeah, I love I love how it just seems like everything is in, in flow in this season. Like we were talking yeah. about last night, just I, we don't meet people on accident, you know? Us exactly. meeting wasn't on accident. Y'all being here watching this is not an accident, you know? Everything just feels like it has so much intention, so much purpose. Yeah, especially when you're living in alignment, like everything, nothing is by coincidence, like all your interactions, all your experiences, it's all for a reason. And so it's like, mm -hmm. you have to be very mindful and just aware of the encounters that you're having, the conversations that you're having, because it's teaching you something mm -hmm. so It may help you stay in alignment. And like, for example, since knowing you, I've been inspired in so many ways and it's near to me so many things that I'm dealing with on my own journey and I and I've recognized like okay sage is this near for this situation yeah. like it'll be certain things like I love how you're very just you go for everything like you, there, the Scott there's no limit to what mm. it is that you want and I love hearing that because that further reinforces like yes dream big think wow. want all these things like nothing is off limits like it's mm. not dilute it never sounds delusional it's just like yeah. no you really believe that and you can have that and so it's just like it's beautiful being in that energy and in that frequency and mm. hearing that wow so, I think that's so crazy because that's the same way I see you. That's literally the same yeah. way I see you. An exact mirror. Yeah, a definite mirror. And I love that. Um, like you said, we encourage each other's growth, you know, right. um, dreaming big and, you know, just, I mean, we've made it this far. Exactly. <laughs> like we cannot be stopped now. We didn't let fear stop us. And now like we have a community that's like reinforcing our dreams and our right. ideas, which is like, 
even more of a catapult because sometimes you know especially in making this move for most of us we had to go based off of our own intuition our own delusion people were not yeah. here for it you and know? it can be very lonely sometimes yeah and because it's lonely you don't have somebody that you're like okay well did this how you mm-hmm. did it like a blueprint to follow like your intuition right. is your blueprint right sometimes you know you might question yourself you might have doubts here and there like am i tripping am i going too off the rift but then it's like you align with somebody who's doing the same thing and who's speaking and moving and their frequency is the same so it's like okay no like this is mirroring what Mm -hmm. who what i am and who i am and so like i know that it's right like because i'm seeing it in real time in another body that came from completely you know separate worlds exactly that is so important i feel like yeah I feel like, you know, of course I had friends, you know, when I was back in the States, like my homegirls too, like my tribe. But I think like we were talking about also just being in this place where we finally feel in alignment. Like that's different, you know, versus like liking life, you know, and being in alignment with your purpose and like what you're supposed to be doing. And then also like, I feel like when I came here, I had a community that was like doing the same things I wanted to do, wanting right. to host events, one, you know, creatives and things like that. It just made it so much easier because now it's like, I don't have to do everything by myself, you know? Right. And, and it's a, I feel like a safe space for my ideas, a safe space for me to be like, look, this is what I'm experiencing right now. I'm not going to pretend like life is perfect. I need help, you know? Yeah. And it's just like that, that is so that I feel like that is real friendship, you know? Real that is like real community. Real tribe, yeah. yeah. And it's interesting because like even in our worlds before, like you said, we had friends and it wasn't like our friends were bad or anything. Right. Like we did align we love y'all. with them. Right. Like we align with them. But it's like as you evolve, your alignment shifts. Mm-hmm. And so it's just like now I have to get more in alignment with this new evolution of myself, this yeah. new version of myself. And so coming here, it allowed us to do that. I feel like it's like, okay, now I'm aligning with people who are like not only thinking the things that I'm thinking, but they're moving with that. They're putting the action behind it. Whereas mm-hmm. before it's like, yeah, we're talking about it. We're talking about it. Mm-hmm. But ain't nobody really doing anything. Nobody's really walking in that. Right. It's just kind of conversation, and then it's like, okay, well, now I'm ready to evolve, so I got to walk in it. Mm-hmm. I need to be that. I don't want to just say, like, oh, this is what I'm going to do. It's like, no, this is what I'm doing. Yeah. And then that's that's you evolving. That shifts everything. And so now you're aligning with people who are also doing the same thing, and it just feels completely different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And natural. Yeah. And I, flow. Exactly. Like flow. I think that there is another, like, side of that, too, where it's like you could be telling your friends, like, I want to move out of the country, you know, or I want to like quit my job, you know, or X, Y, and Z. And they're like, what the hell is wrong? You know, it's completely different from their reality. And then some people just can't fathom it or deep down they desire the same thing, but they're going to fear monger over all the things that could go wrong. But we're like the optimist, you know, we're like best case scenario. It turns out better than I can imagine. And this is why you don't, you don't take heed to advice that people give you when they haven't done the things that you're even talking about doing. So it's like, if I'm saying something, I'm just putting it out there. I'm putting the words out there because I want to manifest this thing. So this is what I want for myself. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily uh, expect you to understand it completely or agree with it. I'm putting it out there for myself. That's my spell that I'm casting. However, Mm whatever you feel about it is what you feel about it because you're not doing it like and you didn't have the call you didn't hear the voice like you don't have the that feeling in you to do this thing so it's understandable that people aren't gonna you know get your journey or agree with your journey or you know fear monger your journey Mm -hmm. but it's just important that you don't let that stop you because the only people that can tell you about something is either yourself or people that's done with what it is you're trying to do and I look towards the people that's done the things that i'm trying to do like that's mm-hmm. my inspiration not the people who still okay with doing the same things that i'm trying to get out of like like yeah. how you gonna tell me not to move coast street because it's dangerous like the states ain't dangerous it's dangerous everywhere you live in detroit right <laughs> and you ain't never stepped foot in Costa Rica, not you one. ain't never been in Costa Rica. You read an you, art, one, you, article, one article, and you, you probably typed in how dangerous is Costa Rica. 
to get the answer like facts selective research facts 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 yeah i'm just i'm really i'm really grateful and i feel like just like i was kind of we were talking about earlier moving into this new season like growth never stops you know just right. because we live out of the country and we feel in alignment doesn't mean that life is over you know like right there are still shifts that are occurring you know and yeah. this is very it feels so interesting because i'm like i don't know i didn't think this was going to end, be the end all be all but my vision extended up to this point yeah now i'm being told okay dream bigger and i'm like there's more <laughs> you know well for sure because at one point this was the big dream exactly. and now it's like i have it so it's not gonna just stop here mm -hmm. like not in my 20s i didn't just reach the end all be all right. of, of my life like no yeah. this just was to confirm like okay you did this and mm -hmm. now you can do this and mm -hmm. this and this like it never ends like now whatever it is that you want and whatever it is that you're feeling go for that because you've already done it once and it's going to yeah. get easier every single time because you keep proving to yourself like it's possible i can shift and it's still going to work out i can pivot it's still going to work out yeah have you been feeling like that there's you're being called to a certain pivot or pivot in general right now outside of costa rica no like i feel like i'm feeling the reason why i was here mm -hmm. like the thing that i was calling into my experience last year now that i'm here i feel those things like i'm starting to see those things mm -hmm. and i'm starting to see the lessons that are deepening um what it is that i was asking for and so i do feel like this is the place that's gonna evolve me again ah. um but it no i did i definitely didn't get here and feel like oh, okay now it's like on to the next thing like it's like mm -hmm. no this is the thing and i want to sit in this thing and marinate mm -hmm. in it and enjoy it and like really just milk it for for everything i feel like i'm just getting started i feel like i'm just uh mm -hmm. like we just getting started in it yeah yeah that's so. how i feel too like you know i've only how long i've been here i guess like a month a month i got here february 3rd so almost almost, almost two, two months you know in another week it'll be two months it, that, that's crazy time is not real and, but um yeah it honestly feels like i've been here longer i feel like i've been here like four months already. that's what it feels like when i first got here i felt that call to sit you know mm. to rest to be like look you just came full circle, you know, on a manifestation, like relic in it. Don't rush on to the next thing. You know, you're not in a rush. You're fine, you know. Um, and then I feel like now that time has kind of like went and I feel really grounded in the space. Mm. Now it's like, okay, you know, you can plant another seed right now, but like definitely here, you know, mm. definitely here on this land. I don't, I don't feel like I'm being called to shift to another environment. This is like the garden where like any seed that I plant is going to grow, right. I feel, you know, and, and with the support of the community, with the support of God, with the ocean, right, <laughs> you know, right. like, um, I just feel like this is like op the optimal condition for flourishment, you know? Everything flourishes here. Yeah. As you can see. Yeah. <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> right. But yeah. And, and I'm like, okay, now that I feel like I'm being told like, now what else do you want i'm like god really loves me because <laughs> you know they're not even just what i want but okay what what do i love and what sets my soul on fire that also helps people you know that also is going to do something better for the world that's yeah. also going to be you know a positive thing for my community as well, you know? So I'm like leaning into that, you know, to mm. something that feels natural that I really like to do, not really thinking logically, <laughs> but mm. I'm thinking with my soul, you know? I'm, I'm like, okay, where my soul is my map, you know? And it will take me all the back road up the mountain mm. <laughs> and around the block, but the lessons that I learned there is what prepares me for the destination. Right. Mm -hmm. I feel like I see that with you like it seems like your next pivot is very um it's focused on outside of yourself mm -hmm. like it seems like you spent time like grounding in yourself and now you're ready to share yeah. um yeah or spread that mm -hmm. just somehow 
integrate that within yeah. more more people. I feel like now I'm in a space where there the lessons are more personal growth, more internal growth, more mm. solidness in my being to where I can show up fully and just more. Yeah. Um, and so I feel that. And so I'm like, there's things that I want to do, but I'm like, not yet. Like, uh -huh. I feel like we need to be solid in some of these areas. That way we can, when we do it, like we're full. Mm -hmm. Our full self is coming to the table yeah. you know yeah. so I'm seeing a lot of lessons that are dealing with like uh personal mm -hmm. personal internal growth right now yeah like the inner work like some more inner work needs yeah to be done. some more inner work and the yeah. inner work is never ending never but ever I do ending. know that this next season that I'm being called into is going to require these things to be nipped in the mm -hmm. bud like the next uh, season that we're stepping into it's it's gonna require us to show up fully yeah. so yeah I want to make sure that we're showing up fully but also like it's fun like the inner work is fun because mm -hmm. it's like you do tackle these lessons and then afterwards you'd be like okay like we did that like that shit doesn't bother us yeah. anymore or like I remember when I used to feel like this when this would come up and now it's like okay you can you can feel yourself evolving past things you can feel yourself you know, letting go of triggers or fears. Mm. And it's just like, I love, I'm just such a, a self growth mm. for, I love <laughs> self growth, <laughs> self reflection, oh self realization. Yeah. And so anything that allows me to evolve more into my being, I'm so for it. Mm -hmm. Like, I love those type of challenges. Agreed. Agreed. Let me tell y'all, last year, 2023, I always be telling people I was getting my ass whooped by the universe. But there was so much inner work that needed to be done, you know, and I was kind of like saying that I wanted all these things and the divine's like, okay, well, we finna take you on an accelerated course then, you know, mm -hmm. you finna be doing inner work monthly, like some deep, deep things, generational, um, like ancestral mother wombs things that you know i've collected on my own path like mm. there's just there are layers to the work there's so many layers the shadow work yeah, the inner child it never ends so i feel like if i did not do that work i would not have been prepared to fully receive this you know i probably mm. would have been battling imposter syndrome mm. i probably wouldn't be in this like creative you know space that i'm feeling just like with self-expression and with like not being afraid to be heard anymore even if i felt silenced as a child you know like i had to i had to pull up so much gunk so much yeah. spiritual gunk but like you said it's like the weight you can literally feel the weight being removed yeah. off of your body when you like crack the code on how to configure and i don't like the universe is always talking and goddamn riddles <laughs> you know they yeah. won't just be like this is the issue they want you to feel that shit. right and you gonna feel it <laughs> you're gonna feel it you're gonna feel it but to release it you know like exactly. let it go let it go alchemize it turn it into something beautiful yeah I, I think that's like one of the most beautiful things that the journey has taught me is that there are things that you need to release there's nothing more that you need to become you know exactly. you have everything already you just need to get rid of all this trauma and all this fear and all these things yeah. that are telling you you are not right. you know so i'm like oh, okay because i ain't had no energy to pick up nothing else anyway man <laughs> i try to deal with this shit, but yeah i do i do feel like i'm definitely um before i feel like i was doing a lot of inner child now so. i'm working more on higher self you know, yeah, yeah. integrating sure, higher sure. self. I've integrated my inner child. She's happy. She gets to be at the beach. She eats yeah. fresh fruit. She gets to create how, however much she wants. Yeah. And that's the thing that people neglect. But it's like, you got it. Once you work on that, what? then the fun starts. Now yeah. it's like, we can, yeah, higher self. Like, let's, let's get to the more evolved mm -hmm. version. Like, But yeah, you got to work on that inner child. You got to work on that inner teenager. Whew. All of it. Yep. Yep. That is so true. But yeah, after doing, yeah, with, with doing the work and with being here and being present, it has opened up so much more creativity, mm -hmm. which is what I said. I was like, I'm feeling 
called to like this creative space where I just want to express in so many different ways. Mm-hmm. And doing so has also been super healing, like just expressing through movement, through words, through writing, through just anything. Like yeah. expression right now is at its full it's key. Peak. Yeah. Yeah. And it's really key because it's like you're making your statement of like mm. this is who I am mm. and you're affirming that to yourself this is who I am yeah. so expression is very very important and yeah. that comes with like releasing a lot of like these boxes that you might have been in or that mm. other people put you in and being like well what how do I want to show up how do mm-hmm. I want to what is my truth and how do yeah. I want to best articulate and display that in a way that feels in alignment with how I feel mm-hmm. yeah. yeah and I love that I love everything that you said. And and I feel like the best thing about self-expression is that there are so many mediums, you know, like even you, like you have so many mediums in which you express yourself. Like you said, writing, it might be pulling, it might be just free flowing dance. You know, there are so many different ways. There's no cookie cutter way to self-express, but they are all you in many different forms. You know, I do music. It's like, this is me, but me healing is also another side of me these are all me but these are ways that i express my capabilities and abilities in different you know um you know the the faces of my soul you know i don't know how else to explain it yeah you know i feel like we're both artists like we have all these different mediums and outlets of expression but also like our life itself is like such art and I feel like those who are good at expressing like you'll see it they'll you'll see them create in their life as well Mm. like they're not just the artists when they're doing this it's like no when they're being when they're living every time I walk out the house like everything is art the way I make my meals the way I like clean the way I just like go about my day to day Mm. it's all art it's all intentional like nothing yeah. is just because like I think of everything is art. I'm always creating. I agree. From the skincare routine, from the intentionality, from the way I put myself together, you know, when I leave out, it's just like like you said, you can really see it, you know. You can see I'm it. I'm an aesthetic girly too, you she know. Is, Typically I hopped out the bed and got on camera today, but I am an aesthetic <laughs> girly. And um yeah, it just it it creates a whole new energy around life you know yeah it really really does and, and it doesn't have to be expensive beautiful. yeah right. it could just it, it just has be, to be you and you just have to be you have to have that eye for just beauty you have to realize mm. like everything around you is beautiful like yeah this wasn't even our intended like spot to sit but i'm like well, look at all this greenery behind yeah. it it's still beautiful like everything yeah. is beautiful and exactly. there'll be times like I'm just going to the grocery store and I just pick up my phone like wow look at all the colors of like yes. the fruits and stuff like this is yes. like such a picture perfect moment like you have mm. to romanticize every part of mm. your life like that every detail nothing should just be like oh like oh I gotta go do this yeah. and, like you should never feel like that yeah. within your life because then why are you doing it like you don't want multiple yeah. moments or any moments of your day to feel like that everything right. should be like oh I'm about to go such and such and then I get to do this and I'm gonna go do that and link up with this person like Mm -hmm. I'm about to cook me breakfast I sit down and eat a good meal like that's how you feel about your life so that you have a good day every single day Mm -hmm. every day is a good day every moment is a good moment I'm never expecting this peak throughout my day like every part is the peak yes (laughs) And I feel like you have to master presence, you know, presence is a major key in romanticizing your life because you actually have to be present in it instead of having your mind. I wish I could, I should have, or I need to, I I, I have Mm. it, you know, and, you know, even when I'm like, you know, talking to like my coaching clients and stuff like that, I'm always trying to figure out where is their brain? Are you living in the past? Are you living in the future? Because that's where the disconnect starts. You know, you need to be right here, right now. You need to have gratitude for whatever it looks like. And that was like one of the last lessons I feel like I had to learn. And this was like end of December last year, beginning January this year. And I just could not find acceptance. I was not surrendering enough. I wanted Mm. to be so in control. And I was not self-accepting enough. And I was not accepting of other people as a Mm. result. And it was just like trying to be so controlling of myself of others it just did not work you know and I just like had to like get to a point 
of so much presence where I was like, however it is right now is exactly how it's supposed to be. This is perfect. I had to get like the present is perfect because it's happening. Right. And if, if I can alter it, then I alter it. And if I cannot, then I accept it. And that just offered me, whew, I was like, wow. Such a relief. Yeah, those words, like, they had to download, obviously, because you probably could hear them and want the same piece and everything, but they don't click until you really dive deep into, like, why are you not accepting the present moment right now, you know? And then I think it's also important to think, like, if you're not accepting the present moment, why is that? Because right at, in my life right now and, like, for quite some time I've always enjoyed until I went to Atlanta I've always enjoyed where I was like I always enjoyed where I was and what I was doing Mm -hmm. and if I'm not if I'm unable to be present and I'm in my head a lot Mm -hmm. or thinking a lot then I'm like okay wait we're not being present why is that what is it about the presence that we don't like like that's something to pay attention to if you can't stay present it's like why are you there and we're in control of it exactly so it's like if you don't like the present moment well then change i'm never somewhere where i don't want to be or doing something that i don't want to do or around people that i don't want to be around Mm -hmm. which means i'm always enjoying my present because i would never be Mm -hmm. found somewhere that i didn't want to be so if i'm there it's because i want to be there and Mm -hmm. if you don't want to be somewhere just know that you don't have to be there if you ain't changing it you're choosing it exactly simple so and sometimes, like we were talking about earlier, it's just a shift of perspective. Right. Shift your perspective. That is the only thing you're in control of. And that that takes getting control over the mind. You know, you right. have to get your mind right to be able to be like, no, I'm not going to look through this lens. I'm not going to listen to that voice. I'm actually going to reconfigure. And I'm going to say, I want to listen to this voice. Or right. I want to look at it from this way. You know, right. there isn't just one perspective. And sometimes just changing that, nothing physically changed in my life I mean even of course I moved to Costa Rica but I had to come to a point where I had received that download of self-acceptance of of world of life acceptance you know before I even got there and I was still in the same situation I was living at my mom's house I was sleeping in a um twin size bed I was living there during my transition and I was just I could not be happier I was so happy and I was like who finally I finally felt like I I finally felt this in alignment feeling. It was the first mm-hmm. time I tasted like in alignment and it was simply in alignment because I was a high satisfaction. Mm-hmm. And based off of a perspective shift, I could not have been happier in that twist out there. But yeah. before that I was like this bullshit. <laughs> like, yeah. I can't wait, you know, but you know, and I I preach this all the time that Happiness is not in another country. Happiness is not in that relationship. It's not in that job. You know, it has to be cultivated with the acceptance, you know, yeah. first in the presence and gratitude, you know. Exactly. So it's been a long time coming. It can't be outside yourself. It's Nothing not. you want is ever going to be outside yourself. Mm-hmm. And like we talked about, it's a muscle, you know? It's practice, yeah. You got to keep practicing. Like, you might not get it right every time. You might get it right a couple times and then fall off. Like, mm, and that's okay. Still have grace for yourself and mm, just pick and keep going. Like, yeah. It gets stronger, just like your intuition. It's all a muscle. You just got to practice it. Exactly. I feel like that kind of makes me kind of question what my idea of enlightenment was before. Because I'm like, mm. oh, once you become enlightened, you just like, the pinnacle like you got in a human body you know oh but i God. feel like enlightenment i feel like enlightenment i'm not gonna sit up here and say i've reached enlightenment good shit <laughs> i got my shit but i feel like maybe enlightenment is just the the realization of life and its cycles and the like just being like okay i'm gonna do it you know and yeah. i'm gonna learn like just maybe just living life like it was intended to be Exactly. Which we've strayed away from. Taking it day by day, exploring, creating, mm. having fun, like yeah. trial and error, just all of that. I think like just getting back to the simplicity of life, like yes. realizing like it can just be that simple. Like it doesn't have to be hard. Mm. Life doesn't have to be hard. Mm. We make it a lot harder than what we have to be, than what it has to be. But a yeah. lot of it is because of our own hand. But once you just kind of surrender to the ebbs and flows of it then it's like all right you have high days you have low days each day was a good day like it was just a day you know (laughs) 
Oh my gosh, that part, that part. And then I feel like, especially since being here, we just see how life starts working in your favor, you know? Yeah. When you just surrender. Man. Sometimes we think control, control. And when I control, then everything is going to be, no. Because the way that I be thinking I want something is so limited. Like, I just be thinking it can go this one way or one or two ways. Mm. When the divine be like, but you ain't even thought about this happening or this character coming in the plot. Mm. Like, you didn't even fathom all of this. So that's why I just surrender. I, I give a general, like, hey, I would like this. And then however it finds me, like, let it find me. I'm, I'm always in an open and receiving mode. I'm all, My heart space mm. is always open. However it's going to find me in whatever form, whatever location, mm. like, find me. But you know that this is specifically what I want. Yeah. How that comes. Yeah. I, I release control over that. Mm. I don't want to get too, too specific that I don't leave room for interpretation yeah. or room for, you know, what the divine might have. Mm. You know, the divine might want to bring it in the picture I'm Come like, let me have it your way because that way gonna be better than mine like <laughs> every time every time is better so like let's just stick to that <laughs> and let's stick to that yeah and that that kind of goes into what we were discussing last night about like how people kind of forget that they're not doing life alone you know right they're just being hard and they and they're not listening to the intuition you know the intuition has been suppressed whether through childhood trauma right. or not listening to themselves because of confidence or you know maybe making one mistake and then beating themselves up so much yeah. where they don't trust themselves anymore but once you get to that point where you trust yourself and you get in contact with your spiritual team maybe you won't have That's to do life it. anymore i mean not like <laughs> You will do like you will, (laughs) but you won't have to do it alone anymore. You know that's the most difficult. I don't want to do life alone. You know I'm not finna proclaim that shit hard. What? No, Mm -hmm. I am not a strong black woman. I need community. I need need ancestors. I need spirit guides. I need everybody all hands on deck. I am a child. (laughs) You know, and I need a a damn Uh. look. <laughs> no, that's so true. Cause like when I first got here, I was thinking how, cause a lot of the questions that I would get asked was like, well, how are you paying for, it? or what did you save up for? Mm-hmm. It was all financial, all mm-hmm. financial, and I'm just like, you know, I never thought of it in that way. It was just I felt called to come here, and so I came here, and I trusted that if you asked me to come here, you would provide right. for me to like you would make it so obviously mm. that's not satisfying to people because they want the concrete logical mm-hmm. whatever it just doesn't work like that honestly things don't work like that yeah it don't work like that but also and, and we're not recommending right <laughs> you do anything we will not be held accountable if you come out to Costa Rica that's what I'm saying. like <laughs> figure it out um but also you want to be mindful not to just like ask the divine you don't want to be like god i need some money i need this in my bank account like money money because that's such a lack scarcity mindset mm, mm. like my prayers is like give me good ideas give me resources give me help when i need it like send help however it's gonna come when i need it but you know give me creativity so that i can create the next source of income mm. like those are the kind of things that i ask for mm. around money like i don't just ask for a dollar amount or money in general because yeah. if you have money money you're going to spend it like it's going to go away what yeah. you want is a flow like mm. and what you need is ideas to create that flow creativity to create that flow yeah. resources and aid community you know, exactly mm-hmm. like you need all of that you don't just need money yeah like money itself is not going to get you yeah. the life that you want if it did well then you could get back in that rat race and make all the money in the world yeah like and come there. back and let us know how it work you know exactly. you'll be rich but will you be fulfilled you know exactly i tell people all the time like when you ask god for money like know what you want the money for you know because sometimes right. people just be like i just want money i just want thirty thousand dollars i just need a million dollars and you're gonna do what exactly and do what like god doesn't operate like that you tell god what the vision is first and god conspires to make that happen for you you're not just gonna throw money at you you can right. you can go further with the right community and connections than you can with a dollar sometimes you know you exactly. can get in rooms and things like that um without <laughs> it'd be too many animals out here y'all he's little like a little he's all big right here i'm blind is he blending 
Yeah, oh wait. Oh, okay, yeah. I'll see what he got. <laughs> but yeah, like money is not the it's end not all be all. It it's not the end all be all. It really ain't. I, we've got a lot further with a lot less. Like, yo, immigrants be like, I came to America with one dollar, <laughs> you know, and we made it happen. Yeah, or I've heard women be like, you know, I had three kids and I moved to out the country or across the country with five hundred dollars in my pocket. Money, money. It's not what you want. It's freedom. Exactly. It's time. It's it's love. It's it's the ability to make your own choices. Right. <laughs> and you know, not have to answer to to someone else. But another thing that me and her always discuss is like people don't got the faith that they say they do, you know? Right. People may not have the faith that they claim they have because if you did then You wouldn't be asking about money. You would just do it. Trust. Step out on faith. Do it. If right. you really about it. Right. If you if you got the faith like you say you do, you serve a divine that can provide like you say you do, well then you don't gotta wait to see the the tangibles. Like you mm. just step out on the faith and ex- and trust that those tangibles are gonna meet you there. And look, I was scared too. <laughs> me know? too. I was terrified as well. Shit. Like God, you telling me to leave my business behind, sell everything in my apartment, move back in with my mama, Man. and like just drop. You telling me to leave everything that is familiar, my relationship, my everything, and go to some unknown foreign place I've never been before. I'm like, well, can you give me a sneak peek at least? Like, who all gonna be there? What's the vibe? Right. What's the energy? But God's like. I will show you when you get there. You understand when you arrive, and I'm just like, right. oh my god! You ain't gonna see the people if you're not in the in the room. So go I'm to the like, room, you know. I'm like, God, stop playing! Like, just show me. But that's not how God works. God's like, you trust me first, right? Exactly. And inevitably, you trust yourself right. enough. I ain't gotta. God ain't gonna prove nothing to you. You need to prove your faith to God. Mm. That's how it works. It don't go the other way. It ain't like, well, God, he's, I need to see this before I do this. Like, you don't hold the damn control <laughs> like that. Like, no. Yeah. And Please. yeah, that's why, like, with, with the coaching and stuff, too, like, I want to help people figure out how to anchor in on not just how much money they want to make, but what do they really desire? Exactly. Like, what was that dream that you forgot, you know? Be, you know what were you dreaming before the world told you not to dream or what your dream should be you know because when you find that and you go towards that like your purpose is gonna look different from other people's purpose and so is your journey you know rooted in love something that you love doing that's not gonna feel like work it's Mm. gonna feel like play it's gonna feel like freedom Mm. it's gonna feel like leisure like, but you're going to love doing it. That's what's going to attract the abundance. Like, yeah. that's what's going to be easy to give your energy and yeah. time and the discipline that it's going to take. Like, mm. it's going to be easy because you. it doesn't feel like that to mm. you. It's like, oh, I'm having fun. Like, this is what I want to be doing. Absolutely. And you're going to attract abundance from that. So think about what you love doing, mm-hmm. not how I can make the most money. The money's not going to come just from wanting money. The right, it's gonna run away because you want it so bad. You being thirsty, like, what do you love doing? You don't love money, like, what do you love doing? Yeah, then the money will come. Right, right. And another thing, like, you don't get nothing. You don't get something for nothing. I tell people, like, there's an energy exchange that has to occur. You know, so what you love doing plus something that helps other other people, helps community, helps like does something good for the world equals your purpose. You know. Like, that is the recipe. But, you know, you get money. Or I ask people, like, what do you want to do? Like, what do you love doing? They're always, like, traveling. I love to travel. And I just, mm. I just, if I could just travel the world and do nothing else, I'm like, ah, ah. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. Nah. Ain't nobody going to pay you just to travel. Look, but even if you got a sugar daddy, you paying. You going to do something. You are paying another way. Right, right. <laughs> but, you Can know. You teach other people how to travel, though. Yeah. Are you traveling to places and helping while you're there? Like, are, are you, you a travel guide? Exactly. Are you a travel influencer? Like, like, how can you take it away from self mm, and then bringing in others with it? Because, like, this journey isn't meant to be it. Alone. alone. Like, it's yeah. in no facet should we be doing anything alone. Like, your purpose isn't going to be rooted in self. Mm. And you're going to get bored, too. Say, for instance, yeah. you became a billionaire tomorrow. You would have a good few years just spinning and spinning and spinning. But if you are not on an aligned path and there's no purpose, like we, we were just talking about last night, you see people 
rich, but they're still doing drugs. They still, you know, and this is not everybody, you know, yeah. but there's some rich people who are in line with their path. We plan on being rich. Exactly. <laughs> you know, we are rich. We are rich. We are rich in so many ways and the finances are, are on their way as well. You know, exactly. we're not, we're not out bad. God will never leave us out bad in any way, right. but you know, you see people at the top and they're still not happy. Obviously, money is not, it's not what you're really looking for. What is it that you're really looking for? Get honest with yourself. What is your truth? You know, right. no matter how uncomfortable it might be, no matter how wild it may seem, as long as you ain't hurting nobody. And that may cause you to not have as much money so that you can learn that money your your happiness isn't rooted in that but you'll be full in mm. so many other areas like moving here yes i let a, i let go of a career that brought in a lot of money mm. however even with less money i have more community i have better yeah. food better quality of life i'm around nature like mm. so many other things that i value more than a piece of paper mm. so it's like Yes, the monetary decrease, but everything else really increased. So it's like, well, where do you mm. hold your value? Yeah, I feel the same way. You know, I was a massage therapist back in the States, and it was nice. <laughs> you know, it was really nice. I, I, I had freedom. I could choose my schedule and things like that. And I loved what I did. I loved my clients. Mm. But I was just willing, you know, it. it like I said, it was just time to pivot into something different. You know, healing yeah. is something that I do for others, but creating is something like, I don't know. Healing also does something for me for yeah. sure, but creating also like does something for me even more. And it can be healing, you know, it can be very healing. So I'm like, yeah, now it's time to like step more. I feel like God's like, okay, you've done enough for others. Now you just need to do for you. And through that, you will inspire others to do the same, to exactly. heal themselves in different ways without having to be hands on. Exactly. And I'm like, okay, but yeah, I took, I took a pay cut. <laughs> I took a pay cut, but yeah. this is the happiest y'all. I have a bicycle and I live in a studio apartment. But when I tell y'all, this is the happiest I've ever felt in my whole life. Same. This is the happiest I've ever been in my whole life. And it's only going to get better and better. Yeah. Like, every day gets better and better because every day we get better and better. Yeah. So it's just, like, this continuous cycle of, like, more. Betterment. Yeah. Abundance. abundance. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you get exactly. it. Exactly. All things. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah. We really appreciate y'all for chilling with us yeah. and um listen to us go on and on. We hope that you learned something yeah, or that you like took something away. In our usual you living room conversations, <laughs> living room being like the beach, being somewhere yeah. in the jungle, like yeah. we just be chatting like this and we'd be like, Okay, this can actually this mm. is helping each other mm. like through conversation and so we just like sharing because it is gems. Like everything mm. that we say is gems. Like we're not just fluff we're not just yeah. trying to you know hype yeah. out debates this is the and conversation like Facts. this is our actual life and our actual thoughts and mm. you know hopefully it resonates and aligns and helps and heals you in some yeah. way or inspires you in some way yes yeah. and um if y'all have any questions feel free to comment below um this is going to be posted on both of our profiles so yeah. you can get my contact information in her bio you can get her contact information in my bio yeah. any topics that y'all may have you can also put that in the comments below mm -hmm. we'll answer those and yeah. yeah we can we plan on doing this like routinely so show Weekly. love and support yeah um, we'll be dropping videos every week so like and subscribe like and subscribe you want to try gang gang